what is going on people it's bobby and welcome to a brand new series on the channel this is going to be to me the legend and in this one we're going to be playing through the game on hard difficulty i'll start by saying this game's not actually a hard game it's one of the easier tomb raider games to get through and on the ps5 version it's even simpler because of the rewind feature that's been included okay if you abuse this system this game becomes literally trivial okay now without further ado let's get into it So all we're going to be doing on this is literally playing through. We're not going to be collecting all the artifacts or anything like that. We're just going to get through the missions. Um, in terms of time trials and things, we will be doing that in a separate series afterwards. But yeah, hopefully you guys can just watch along and enjoy. Like I say, the game is quite simple. Obviously, its control scheme is not quite as refined, shall we say. But it's also not too bad. Like It's, it's doable. We will be skipping all cinematics also, just for speed. Let's get cracking here, so you're gonna climb your way up the way I've gone. And then you're going all the way up here. And you're just jumping across. From here, we're just going to jump and swing. Straight into the cave ahead. And then we're going to make our way around. Nice and easy. And then jump across the gap. Once again. Oh, we can't skip this cinematic. Never mind. Uh, combat in this game is... The enemies do hit a little bit harder. Um, but it's... Again, you can just kind of jump around and things. And you get access to the stronger weapons right off the bat, to be honest. So, in terms of killing enemies, you don't, you're not going to face too much trouble, really. Not to say we won't use uh, health packs and things. We will do. But just come over to the right here in order to avoid this boulder. It's easy. We will use plenty of health packs, but also plenty also drop, so we don't really need to be too concerned or too reserved with them either. And then on top of that, we obviously have the rewind feature that we can use, so that gives us even less reason to be reserved with our health packs. There's just going to be a couple of enemies on top here, that's all that's showing us. Just run straight through him. Any idea who he did he did. I haven't the foggiest. Okay. He's deliberately on the our way up here. There's gonna be a boulder on top that we're gonna to drop down. It's deliberate. Nice and simple there. And that's just gonna drop it on and it will lift up the branch, as we can see there, that will enable us to swing across. There is artifact there. Like I said, we're not grabbing those in this video, so we don't need to be too concerned with that. And let's climb up there. This is the first time we will use our grappling hook. So we're just going to attach it and then pull. And then I believe there's another cutscene. First time fighting two enemies here. As you can see, we can hold L1 to lock on and then use the right stick to move between them. Kill the first guy, and then just kill the second guy nice and easy there. So you do get given some tools, some good tools to use when fighting enemies in this game. Uh, you can go into slow motion, which is who made an anniversary, uh, which we will, I'll show you in a minute. And also if you slide into all the human enemies, they will simply um, like flip up into the air, making the kill really simple. There we go. I'm just gonna swing our way over here and then around we go nice and easy here's the slow-mo just jump at a guy and then press X and you'll jump again first use the grappling hook here one of the most like finicky parts of the game map All kinds of somersaults and things. Another cutscene coming up here, I think. This level does not shy away from them. Drop the rocks down on the guys below. There we go. We make our way around. Here. There we go. Climb up. Our 
way around. We'll kill this guy when we get up here. There we go. He's gone. Let's pick up his weapon. Why not? May as well. Now we have a submachine gun. Not the weapon I'm going to choose to use moving forward. I'll be looking for the assault rifle, but may as well use it for this next part. Now, slide him to this one. Oh, Oops, up to go, lad. There we go. Okay, there's our first med pack use, and we're going to pick up that assault rifle. Just going to run around quickly here and grab some ammo. Make our way up to the top, where we get yet another cutscene. Okay. On this bit now, it's going to be the first trap. Um, in order to get rid of this trap, you just walk over here and kick the boulder. It's going to open up all of those. And you can just jump and grab the cross. Really basic trap. Make our way around. I'm going to show us these chains. I'm just going to climb our way around. Like I said, I, as you know, so this is obviously the first level of the game, so it's never going to be easy, is it? Let's be, it's never going to be hard, sorry. But, like I say, this is it's definitely one of the easiest two major games. So we're just going to quickly fly our way through this. Let's make our way down. There we go. Let's go back to the pistols. I do like the fact that we can at least quick swim. That's nice. Oh well, swim a little bit faster anyway, like, that's quite good. Let's make our way down. There's animal enemy here. Just jump over its head. And then get the kill. Really simple. This one, there's a few in. Um, I get caught by these all the time, so if you get caught by these, leave a comment down below, because I get caught all the time by these. Just gonna make your way through. Waiting for them to open. This this next one is actually two. If you attempt to run through without using this, then you will die. So what we're gonna do is just push the cage into the first one. Okay, just a little bit. There it is. There we go. And we're gonna go up to the where the second one is closing and opening. And we're just gonna go halfway in for a second. There we go. So it's still touching. That's important because you can get crushed as you walk through. What we're going to do then is, as soon as it finishes closing on us, we just walk forward. If you time that wrong, obviously you'll get crushed on the way over. From here, don't try and get out. Just climb on top and jump over. Safest way of doing it. And from there, we can obviously make our way forwards. Oh, this one's not a uh, thing you want. Not skippable. Um, in this room, a little bit of a puzzle going on. Since we're not doing um, the re relics or artifacts or anything, then we're not going to bother doing the weird way of the puzzle. We're just simply going to do it the easy way. There's a jaguar here. So we're just going to kill that. And then we can hop down and Someone grab the cages. We just have to flip two cages up onto the platforms above and then from there we can uh, put them on to open up the door put them on the pressure plate to open up the door these cages are extremely annoying to move around they always were and they still are even now having completed this game god knows how many times these cages still properly annoy me it's actually easier a lot of the time to just pull them than it is to push them. There we go. Let's try and get this on there. Doesn't have to actually be perfect, just have to get it on there. And now we can jump up over here, jump on here, and it flips it up onto the top. 
from there. Let's grab on the next one. Push it on. There we go. Climb back up. And jump on again. That's all of the cages. What we can do now is put one on this pressure point. Oh god. First one on here. Done. I'm just going to prep this one. I'm just dragging it over towards the centre. Just leave it there for a second. Let's go and get this one. All these are doing is, if you see that wheel there on the wall, it's just unlocking the wheel. If we have a look here as we stand on it, the locks just slide in, which is what we want. And then this one actually attempts to turn the wheels on both sides to open the door in front of us. Man, this place is weird. As you can see there, we've got the wheels turning, and the door will open all the way up. In order to get over there, what you do is you make your way here. Climb up, and then make your way all the way around. Go jump on the chain above our heads. Really, really easy. All the way across. Drop down again. And jump over. When playing on hard, just keep track of. We're going to have our first day QTE here. So, quick time events. Uh, but what I was saying there is make sure when you're jumping, just keep track of that triangle input when you grab on it's a little bit quicker and harder to do on hard but again really easy and again we have the rebind feature so don't worry about it too much let's do the quick time event oh, i believe it is circle first yeah and then it's jump yeah and then i think it is triangle is it or is it just circle jump this one this one's just circle jump yeah there you go first one done really simple you in one piece? i'll put the prompts up on the I'm screen of course so yes. you can just see them okay into this room you know to drop down without losing a bunch of health oh well dying just drop down over here and there's actually a small ramp there's a jaguar in here so Said, balls, jump over his head. There you go. Done. You can kill him from up top as well, it just takes a bit longer. And then all you gotta do is jump on here, keep swinging, and just jump across. There we go. It's the center of the and on we go. In order to get up, you need to go across. Over here, as you can see there is a another artifact in here. There's actually two you can get from within this room. Let's drop down there and then climb up. Always do that when the camera angle changes there. I always fall, but fall in that location. Around we go. Okay, and this is the end of the level now. I'm just going to skip this cutscene. We're, oh, we can't skip this. Really? We can't skip this one? Surely we should be able to? Yeah, okay, thank God. It's a longer one. Okay, here we're going to run. Let's jump across. This jump, you do have to jump quite easily. There we go. Once you're up, though, it's as simple now as just going around. Killing all the enemies. A lot of jumping, sliding into them, and you'll be absolutely okay. okay. Don't be scared to use your head uh, because I've used your health back because you get them quite frequently so it's not really an issue at all and there you have it let's 
let's skip that cinematic and yeah there it is ladies and gentlemen that is the first level of the game on hard as i said it isn't hard at all but hey hope still fun hopefully this has at least been a little helpful for those who maybe didn't know how to do the puzzles or whatever but yeah anyway just here for a bit of fun see you in the next one peace